Just a very quick video, I hope, um, of the Hongdian maple leaf, red maple leaf, which I'll be briefly comparing with the Hongdian gray rabbit. Come on. There we go. flying rabbit and the Hongdian blue peacock and that's all that she wrote until the next scene all right so returning to the Hongdian and eight which this was the first one that I I got, which is the gray rabbit. And this will be especially appropriate for the coming year of the rabbit. And you can see a full review of this, uh, this pen. One of my previous vi uh, videos where I refer to it as the Haas pen because Haas in German means hare or rabbit. It's obvious that they made this in my honor. Uh, black nib, piston fill. Now these, uh, all three pens that I'm going to compare have ink in them, so I'm not gonna show filling again. But again, there's a previous video of that pen. The second one I got was this gorgeous one. This is also an N7. And this is the Blue Peacock. And also did a video about this one. This has an Architects nib on it and as I explained in that video for those of you who are not familiar that's kind of a turned around stub a stub will make a broader line vertically and a thinner line horizontally whereas the architect is the opposite. It's a thinner line vertically and a thicker line horizontally. So both of them add some nice character to one's writing in hand. And then the third pen I have is an N8 and it looks very similar in overall design to the two N7s. However, this piston turning knob is a faux piston turning knob because this is actually a cartridge converter. And, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, you've all seen cartridge converters, so I just stuck a, a Parker cartridge in here because this takes the uh, slightly larger size of cartridge than that used in 95% of pens probably in the West which are the is the international style but this uh, Parker fits perfectly and it makes sense because at the uh, handing over the Parker tooling when the communists took over China, uh, they largely adopted the Parker form factor for cartridges and converters and have kept that up to this day. So this is another really lovely pen 
uh, rose gold. I did get some ink on me. Rose gold uh, highlights in the clip, although the actual leaves are, to my eye, more of a, a regular gold. But the clip the top of the cap, the cap band, and bottom finial and faux bands here are all rose gold. And the nib is more of a gold gold in uh, technical terms. If you go, if you open your dictionary, you can look up gold, gold, as opposed to rose gold. So these maple leaves are not in celebration of Canada, unless you're Canadian. Uh, maple leaves are often used in Chinese decoration and Chinese art. Now let's see if we can adjust this to get a little. Closer. Boom. And uh, I really think this is a terrific looking pen, as the, the entire series is the N7 and the N8 from Hongdian. Let's see if we can get a little. Closer look at the nib. And I'll do a little writing sample of the three pens. I think they all still have ink. If I can grab some paper over here. Very high quality paper pad, as you can see. Not rhodia, not nothing. Just simple paper pad, which works almost as well. So let's see if we have Yes, the gray rabbit. Don't ask me what inks these are. In fact, the Parker cartridge that I'm using is a blend of a couple of inks. So I could fill up the, the cartridge. So. And uh, the blue peacock. So, again, to demonstrate with the architectural nib, vertical lines are thinner, horizontal lines are thicker. Let's see if I can keep these in frame. And then we have the red maple leaf motif with its beautiful, as everyone says these days, chatoyant acrylic barrel. And again, this is some mixture of, of inks. Um, Including uh, a brown, as I see. I thought this would come out blacker. So these are the three lovelies. This is going to be, I think, a rather short video. Um, oh, well, I have have you all here. Um, 
see if I can even find my scale in this drawer. I have so many pens to look at in the coming months, which is a lot of fun for me and hopefully some fun for you. And let's move this baby here. There may be some difference because I don't know if I can capture this now that I have it's a little tighter focus. Probably not. So let me okay I'm pushing on the ends of each barrel and you'll see that the N8 is a little bit longer. The Real piston knobs and the faux piston knob are the same length as defined by these end rings. But then we look up, <coughs> excuse me, we look up the length of the barrels where they reach the cap, and the two N7s are identical in length whereas the N8 sits higher. So that's one way to quickly tell the difference. So let's do some weight comparisons. Again, these have some ink. It's, it's not going to make a huge amount of difference in any case. So the Gray Rabbit as a whole is 38.5. And the cap is 14.5. The blue peacock is 39.1. Actually, I think this has a little bit more ink in it, if I recall. And the cap is 14.3. Hope you're writing these down because I'm not. And the maple leaf, 30.4. And the cap, 13.4. So I hope that satisfies your desire for weight measurement and comparison because I'm not really that interested in that. So there, and I'm not going to measure the lengths and the widths because a thousand people have already done that online in their own reviews. And there they all are. And starting Sunday, January 22nd, I'll have to use my Ray Rabbit pen almost exclusively, at least that first day, to celebrate Chinese New Year and be able to say Gong Hei Fa Choi to my wife, who, as most of you know, was originally from Hong Kong. And I said this wasn't going to be that long, and it's long. So. Take care.